folks, Silver Stacking Pro here. Um, making a video on the my top picks for 2016, my top silver picks, and my new gold goal. Um, gold goal. So to start off with my silver picks, um, I did some reading and I looked at some designs, and you know I've been thinking of uh, lunar series, and you know you know when people are scared to buy at a high, and there are some people who uh, kind of go blindly into it. Um, I'm one of the I'm one of those people who are always scared of buying at the high. You know, um, there are people who make tons of money of buying it, uh, buying, you know, at the right time. But I always feel that I'm always way more cautious. In other words, you know, I've been thinking, and have it, has have any of you realized that, you know, a lot of the lunar series two prices have gone gone out of hand, and it looks like the uh, ox and the mouse, which will, I believe, continue to be collectible uh, for some time. So those seem to be doing super well. 500 bucks for 2 ounces. Um, I don't know who can justify that, but I feel that the mass-produced ones are gonna are going down. And I'm talking about the horse, which has gone down. And, I'm, you know, I'm thinking that maybe that's not the best investment for performance in performance after next year. So these are my three picks. And um, let me explain them to you. Uh, so, the the privateer, you know, a few days ago, I just wanted to check, um, you know, I'm trying to collect, keep a set. And I had some people ask me what my pricing is on these. So, I just had to, I just wanted to see what, and these aren't for sale, but I wanted to see what, you know, they were going for. Looks like they're selling on eBay for $69. In three months, or two and a half months. A forty dollar coin turned into a sixty nine dollar coin, and I th I feel that as if they keep on releasing these privateers, I feel that these the for first and second ones could be a really 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 good investment. I mean the second ones are about to end, and they look like they're going on eBay for like forty eight dollars, so it's like already really really picking up. So I feel that these the privateers are gonna do pretty well, and I'll continue my set and see if I'm gonna collect some gets a bit bit more for flipping. Um uh next I have the um so this isn't exactly what there is. They're releasing a new they just released a new series. It's the um the wolf it's I think it's the annual privies, the um the live in the wild series privies. So this is a privy maple leaf. In other words it's um frosted and it has a privy in other words it's like Privies in some languages mean bathroom, but it's actually just like a small marking on the coin. Now, um, these, these actually, as I looked at them, they've spotted less than I've seen a lot of, um, a lot of normal maple spot, but ter turns out the, um, the, the new wild series, the vintage on these, I think are like 200,000 or 100,000, but, um, the new wolf series, which is sold for 450 over spot, uh, at the moment, they have a the coin has a mintage of fifty thousand, which is half or I think one fourth of the mintage right now, um, of the current uh, privy series. Now year over year, I've seen that these are doing super well. The horse is going for I think thirty five dollars from twenty dollars, and um, I think with half the mintage, that could be an awesome, awesome, awesome pick. Um, next I have the kookaburra. I don't have the two thousand sixteen yet, but um. What I can see from these 2015s are, they're good investments. Um, what I feel is that, you know, I, I keep telling you guys what the goals are for 2016, uh, what the idea is for 2016. But if you guys can get 2015 stuff right now, at the same price as the 2016, as Silver Slacker says, just go ahead and buy it, you know, don't buy it, it's 2016. But I feel the 2016 design is awesome. And as we can, as we've seen, the, the design has placed everything in a kookaburra, almost everything. Like 2008, it's selling for 75 bucks. So I think that that may be a very good investment. So those are my three picks for silver. Um, I have actually a pretty big, gener gener uh, generous gold goal. So I, um, basically, I was thinking I wanted to make it a tube of 10, 10th ounce gold pieces by in 24 months. But I feel that just limiting myself to 10th ounce pieces might not be the best thing for me. So, the goal is 10 10 pounds pieces of gold in two years. 
five in a year. But next, I have another goal, which is to finish one ounce of gold in uh, till I believe it is next June or till um, one year from now, from when I put the order. So uh, next October. So um, one ounce of gold, and as I've seen my goals, when I put a goal for myself, I always achieve it. So I. I hopefully will be able to achieve an ounce of gold in a few, um, like eight to twelve months, and I think that I can keep on my silver buying. And um, so basically, yeah. So that's that's my idea, and um, we'll see how that goes. You know, uh, I love gold, um, too, but uh, I didn't think it was accessible to me at the time. You know, I was buying in. Uh, forty forty dollars here and twenty dollars there. I wasn't buying big orders, and I didn't think that uh, you know gold would make sense for someone who's putting in small orders, but quite a few of them. Um, you know, so I decided that you know it's better to just save up for when you can, you know, then go ahead and get the stuff you want. So looks like the gold goal is gonna come, and we'll see. If I really fall in love with ten thousands, I'll do a tube in a, you know tube in in a year 18 months so um if i love 10 dances otherwise i'll go slow in the tube and i'll uh pick up some other stuff but um yeah my goal um and uh wish me luck thank you guys for watching and bye